Ugh. Ugh. Hey, you're back. Yep, third day, another version of us sent to God knows where. Hmm. Seriously. Oh, wait, is he being raised somewhere, or are we just sending him somewhere? And he's being raised. Oh, really? By who? Um. What? Promise you won't be mad? Oh, come on, after all we've done so far. <laughs> what? What can be so bad is in a shelter? Who? I I sent him to to be raised to by uh shell tear. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. I, I guess what you said you sent him to be raised. By the vampire lowly from, uh, you know, the old world. Oh, Lord, the universe. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> you know, that one where some people couldn't handle him be turning into a, a tentacle fool villain and race quit the anime? Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 no, God. Oh, you, you're serious. Yeah. <sighs> okay, okay. It might not be as bad. What? Um, which... Which arc did you have him be a newborn in? <laughs> don't, don't worry, I'm sure you forgot, didn't you? Oh, yes. mm, hey, like you said, you do a lot of things to for him to gain more power. <laughs> Did you at least give him some skills? Yes. Yeah, I, I did. I did. What skills, what, what magic did you bestow upon him just so he won't die? Well... Skills here. Yes, Lord Ains. I see that you seem to have gained an interesting person. Is it human? Yes. Yes, yes it is. Why do I ask why you were holding it? Well, I found it and I decided to, um, you know, take care of it. Really? Of course. I'm sorry, but could you please explain to me why? Well, think of it as, uh, you know, our baby. Really? This is weird. I've never known Shaltier to be so motherly huh, did I program her differently or I did make a bit of more thirsty towards me maybe that's something to do with it too hmm I may I shouldn't question it at least not now very well let's see what kind of Potential this new child brings. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just for you said you gave him fire and holy attributes. 
What's this seriously? What did you give him? Fire and holy attributes. You're neat. I. You really don't understand, do you? What? Fire and holy attributes are pretty damn cool and helpful, aren't they? Yeah, we can say they are. Yes, very, very much. Very helpful. Can, can someone, can one of me or, you know, whatever, explain why uh, he's an idiot? Would love to. Listen, you want him to be raised by Shaltier. Correct. Yep. The goth vampire lowly who works under Ein's Argon. Correct. And Ein's Argon is a undead. Yeah. You are following. Mm. Well, what are the undead weak against? Oh, that's easy. It's fire and... And... Come on, you, you're starting to get it. And holy magic. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, so you realize what you've done? Yeah, I, 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 he, 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 he's, he's gonna die. And, nah, he won't. What do you mean? What do you mean he won't die? And, I just isn't gonna be able to kill him. Excuse me! What makes you so sure? Well, think about it. Though, yes, he has the very attributes that can wound and or kill Eyes Al Gone. It depends on when he's introduced in the story. Like, uh, you put him in uh, right near the beginning, didn't you? Yeah, 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 I did. Oh, exactly. Yes, he's see. He still has his humanity for now. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So, huh? Okay, good, good. That's 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 good. And besides, just in case that didn't work out, I gave him some extra stuff. Huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, when you first pitched this idea to me, I thought it was stupid. Very, very stupid. Made him be raised by Shaltier, or no, the, the power you gave him. So, I decided to give him a. So, then that'll keep him alive. Just in case your idea goes to shit. And lo and behold. You are realizing what you have done to us. Wow. Huh. I... Huh. So, he's not gonna die? No, he sh at least he shouldn't. What's that supposed to mean? Well... And there are certain parameters that will have to be done. Get rid of him. Excuse me, uh, Lord Hines? Dispose of this child. I don't understand. Shelter, you are 
fully loyal to me, are you not? Yes, of course. And please explain to me the reason that went through your head. Please explain to me why you decided to bring this thing upon me. It's just a human child. No, it is my destroyer. What? I... Well, I'm sorry. Please explain. Allow me. I shall display his attributes that I witnessed myself. As yes, fire and holy attributes. Shaltir, realizing this, is terrified. Alkaitis, as well as, you know, Timiers, especially Albedo, are pissed and horrified at the fact that she actually brought someone who, though being an infant, could grow up to be the greatest adversary for nines. At least if he was just a normal hmm, skeleton or undead. Of course, shout here. He is horrified to realize what she's done, but she does try to at the very least sweeten things. It's only when there's only one choice for you here. Disposal of the child. Everyone's looking at Demiurge. What? Get rid of him. Cause him into a pit of monsters for all I care. We shall not let any harm from the Lord happens. You're serious? Deadly serious. I... I, uh, understand. Is ya shelter? She has somewhat became more... motherly, thanks to Izuku's arrival. So being told to get rid of him, even throwing him into a pit full of monsters, is hurtful. And though, yes, I is still somewhat a human, he can't really risk anyone, especially his subordinates, being able to turn on him. Despite what he's done to make sure that they most likely wouldn't. And then 14 days go by when they get a knock on the temporal Nasrik. And this is when they see Izuku wearing nothing but a animal pelt. And bloody, unkept, long green hair. Of course, everyone is wondering you're supposed to be dead. But no one is more surprised than Ainz and Shaltir. As soon as you can see Shaltir, he runs up to her and hugs her and calls her mommy. When he sees Eines, he is pissed. Of course, when uh, he sees this, he knows, oh my god, this kid has his power. He knows how to use it, but I don't know. This is when he tries to take his stats again. In which he sees that Izuku ha does have more than more, uh, a little bit more than what he saw the first time. Yes, he does still have holy and fire attributes, but he also has skills, which is, uh, you know, 
resistance to physical magic and mental ailments and they have been heightened to an absurd degree but one thing that really shocked him was seeing that he has accelerated growth and sticking him into a pit full of monsters that are constantly trying to tear him to pieces yeah this safe to say that he leveled up quite uh, quickly so as he's going to sir eyes yeah we try to stop Izuku, but all their attacks do nothing and even cause their weapons to break Albedo rushes at Izuku, and he grabs her by the neck and starts to strangle the hell out of her. Shaltir, of course, is devastated to see all this, despite seeing Shaltir in pain. She tries to tell Izuku to stop, but he smiles back at her, saying, Don't worry, we'll be free soon enough. And this is when he comes face to face with remains. And yeah, you can imagine. He's, he's looking at this. Luckily, he has no facial expressions to being undead, but he's technically shitting himself. He tries to fire magic at Izuku, but it doesn't work. He tries death magic. That doesn't work. And then he just so happens to stare Izuku straight into his eyes and laughs. Guess he knows he's fucked right about now. Everyone, especially Izuku, is shocked like, what the hell, why are you laughing? I'm about to kill you. This is when, of course, Demiurge decides to speak up. So this was your plan. What? Yeah. Wait, well, what are you talking about, Demon? What do you mean his plan? Look at you. Oh yes, I'm covered in blood. I think I had to survive off of monster carcasses that I killed. <sighs> Luckily, fire is uh, good for keeping me from being sick. But that doesn't explain why you think this was part of his plan. What do you remember? Oh, don't play coy with me. Uh, excuse me? I've noticed how you started to slowly age when you first got here. Wait, what? What are you talking about? You were absorbing at once magic power, weren't you? I, I, uh, I knew it. You were. So you were cognitive. Like, well, yes. How did you know that? Well, it's obvious that Lord Ainz knew about your skills. But he only displayed... Your normal abilities. Wait, what? He only displayed that you could use holy and fire attributes. He didn't show us everything you could do. Wait, are you saying when he told my mom? To throw me into a pit of monsters. Yes, he was doing it as a test. 
I'm sorry, what? Oh, he clearly did see you as someone who could potentially hurt him, if not wound him, but he must have concocted a plan so that you could protect not only him, but everyone. Excuse me. He noticed the pain in Shaltier's eyes and decided to put you in a type of bright of passage. Only thing is, we didn't anticipate for you to be here so soon. I'm sorry. Are you really trying to say that this bag of bones knew I was going to rapidly age, gain more power, be able to withstand his magic and your physical attacks just to make me a better subordinate? Well, that does sound like something you Lord eyes would do in his vast wisdom. Right, everyone? Then Sebastian Calhitis, about even damn Shaltier just lunges at Ayn and begging him for allowing Izuku to prove himself. Of course, Izuku is one of the. You're serious. As he gazes into the eyes or eye sockets, of Ions Algoons, you planned this whole thing just so I would. Oh, you. You. You fucking genius! Excuse me? As yes, these goos just started to drink Kool Aid. That all makes sense now. Hell, you told you just said to throw me in the, you know, bit of monsters. Yeah, but to any normal person, that would be a death sentence. But to someone with my capabilities, it would just be more or less training. Because yeah, you did notice how strong I could be in the future. But you also realize how much of a hassle it can be for, for you know, you guys to raise an infant. So you decide to do a little trial by fire or whatnot to see how fast it would show up. At least how long it would take me to get out of that pit. Yes! Precisely! Wow, I did not anticipate that. Huh. Okay. So I just... So you really just wanted to make one of the few people that could hurt you and possibly kill you your subordinate. You... Wait... Was that even true death magic you tried to use on me? Or you just wanted to test out my negations? It seems if you finally started to see the truth. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I can't believe this. Ah! Oh my god. Uh, I was going to try to kill you, too. Better take my mom with me. Ugh. Well, nothing else. My name is Izuku. Uh, I already know your names. Kalkaitis, Sebastian. As well as you, Demiurge. And, yeah. No, I'm still going to call you Mom. Shout here. And you! Suck you, bitch. Uh. 
Excuse me? Hey, you heard me. This is the name I know you by. I'm just walking up to the shelf here and, <laughs> and giving her a big hug. I missed you, Mom. I really did. <laughs> What's so funny? Look, you bitch. This that's not her name. It's best I it was I lived when you call her We gotta be respectful. Really? But you're stronger than her. That may be true. But she's still a part of part of us, so we had to show her respect. But if anything, I'm stronger than all of you. Said Lord Ines. Really? Why did you think that? Right now, I could kill all of you. Hell, a certain guy sure as need a haircut and my nails trimmed. I just slice your throats right here, right now. As they are looking at him like, okay, now you're just being a little arrogant. He just pulls out the hair of Sebastian, Demiurge, Albedo, and a piece of Calchias' exoskeleton. And he just lets him go. Like I said, you are nothing to me. So, Mom, can, can you tell me more about Lord Irons? Well, for all intents and purposes, he is your father. What? But he's not dead. You mean... And for him to get as powerful as he is now, would we... He would have had to been dead for quite a bit. Please explain. Well, you know what? Oh, oh, never mind. I get it. Yeah, I... it will explain why my hair is different from yours. Huh? So you just pretty much found me, and that's all she wrote. Yes. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <sighs> well, Lord Hines. I. I'm sorry, I um, was gonna try to kill you. I thought you were a heartless bastard who was making my mom work against her will. And so, I shall remain in your service until I die. As long as you know who your master is very well. <sighs> now that all the unpleasantness is out of the way. Let's get you cleaned up. First things first. Save us. Huh? Wait, I thought it was Sebastian. No. It's either you mixed it up with someone a different butler from a different universe or 
you just decide that Sebastian will be short for Sabus. Eh, either way. Wait, why do I gotta get my hair cut? It looks terrible. It's all matted and covered in blood. Yeah. But it makes good armor. Man, you have no idea how many times it saved me from getting attacked from behind. Nevertheless, you need her, but we'll get you proper armor. Fine. And your nails need to be clipped. What? You will wear proper tire. Seriously? But I have more traction barefoot. You ran in here on all fours like a wild beast. Well, I never had many people to teach me. Huh. Wait, actually, how do you, how do you know how to talk? Uh, you'd be surprised at how many monsters in that pig can talk. I picked up words from there. Mainly retreat. Don't kill me. I have a family. Uh, you know, all, all that matters is that I survived. Interesting. So, if nothing else, let's begin with your pampering, son. It's very weird for you to say that, but very well. I'll see you in a moment, mother. What? Wait a minute. What? Why do I smell beasts? Excuse me. Yeah. Similar to the monsters I killed. Why? Blaine. No. No. Well, that's right. You haven't met them yet, have you? Oh. Well, you see, there are other floor guardians. Really? Yes. Suppose you haven't seen, uh, you know, Mayor or Aura. Hmm. Okay, what well, they gotta do with the smell? Well, Aura is a tamer. Excuse me. Tamer. So, she finds beasts and makes them her subordinates. Yes, she does. Wait, how do you know that uh, she's a... Uh, I can smell it. I call cab on that. Bullshit. Well... How about this? There's a boy with her. Yes, that would be. Oh. What I can tell from here, Aura is the beast tamer, and she is a woman. The only reason I can tell is she smells more like the beasts than I am. 
Considering how close they seem, were they like, uh, you know, dating or whatnot? <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, 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 it's not that kind of, no. I'm confused. <clears throat> well, um, see, they're both... Okay. Oh, oh! Oh, there's no assault there, siblings. Correct! Oh. Hmm. Okay. It's strange I haven't met them. Ugh. Believe me, the way you see victim. Who? Victim. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go sleep or something before. Why not? I've been through enough these past days. No, let's go. I'm trying to kill you. Well, technically all of you. To be honest, I didn't know how far I was going to make it. Huh. Very well, very well. Uh, okay, the big thing. You... Hmm. You may be more helpful than I previously thought. I would like you to meet me before you decide to retire to your quarters. Okay, fine. That's what we do we end up having some kind of alone tonight. This is when I does tell him that As you know, I am an undead. Yes. And as far as I know, you are the only being that could possibly hurt and or kill me. Correct! And as you know, all undead came from someone who was once with a living. Mm-hmm. Get to the point. My morality, though still... There is starting to slip for me. Excuse me? It's an undead. I shouldn't have such emotions. But I don't care about certain individuals. Explain. As I am now at this very moment, if I were to step on a cat, to be. I would cry for God knows how long if I had new ducks. In the near future, I may be able to wipe out whole villages and innocent people without paying an eye. Oh. Wait, why are you telling me this? I need you to be my moral compass. Keep me from going too far when it comes to being a villain. Mm, I don't know. When it comes to ethics, I don't really have that many. Just remember, I was going to kill you. Yes. I understand that. That is why I would like for you to keep an eye on my future endeavors. Okay. But first, there's something you need to do. Fine. What? You need to go and conjugate with humans. Wait. Wait, what? What does that mean? 
commune with humans and other races. Why? You need a sense of morality, though, yes, you would be a here to say you shall tear from the tyranny of a cruel undead. You still lack complete moral and of your own. I may have mine at the moment, but time will tell when it too leaves me just as my skin as Huh. Interesting. So you want me to scour the globe? Try to learn how to be a good person? Not necessarily. Just someone who knows the difference between might and wrong, and would more often than not use, you know, the right decision. I need you to be good, good man. <laughs> I can't do that. Why? What would your reason be? From what I can tell, good man. Or risk everything to save the world. Yes, that's usually it. But risks losing everything, sacrificing everything he has to do so. You saw how I was willing to kill you and everyone else to take my mom. Didn't you? Yes. That's the kind of person I want to be. Good man will sacrifice everything. He has. But me, I'll sacrifice everyone else to protect what's mine. I would be holding a match in front of the powder keg, ready to wash the whole world, protect who I care about, my home, family, myself. You want me to be a good man, you what I am I, I choose to be the monster. What kind of is Lord bullshit is that? Phil, where'd you hear that from? I'm confused. That's right, you don't know what age Lord is. Yeah. Seriously, what the hell? I'm sorry, Jess, I something wrong. No, no, it's not that. It's just... <laughs> All things you could have said. Seriously. What... Oh, okay, whatever. You can still be a good man and protect what's yours and everything. You just don't have to... Help me. Force the whole world to do it. Seriously, our home here yeah. is safe. As far as I know, it's safe right now. And it is going to stay that way for as long as I can help it. I just don't want this to suffer on the outside. Stupid. Oh. All the beasts I've killed. Seriously. Ethan. Do you believe I even consider that they've had, you know, offspring? 
waiting for them to come home. Well, I, I would have assumed you, I didn't get a second thought. Even especially for the ones I could talk. I, uh, think of it like this. If you're intelligent enough to speak or have enough cognition in your brain to think of tactic at work, you would be able to consider the thoughts of revenge. Well, I... Yep. If I let them live, go home to their little families, chances are they would have gotten me. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. Who knows, I would have probably walked into an ambush or something. And that doesn't sound very fun. One thing I learned while right in that damn pants is that power is everything. That the one who wins is the one who's in the right. I don't know what to say. Come on. I'm surprised you, that you're surprised that I'm like this. You're the one that sent me to that. Damn. What's kid when I was an infant? What did you think I was going to learn? Besides, you know, killing. Well, surviving. Everything else. What else was I supposed to learn? Compassion? Seriously, I, before I'm going to start using coffee or to eat what means for preferences, every monster I killed. Oh, that's right. You, you didn't even consider that? No. Yeah. Well, you know what? Sure. You want me to try to be your little moral compass or whatever? Fine. I'll do my best. My actually takes some time. All things considered. What do you mean? I mean, hell, I'm technically the, uh, 14 days old. You have the body of a 14 year old, yes. Eh, it doesn't really matter. I'll make do. All I have to do is make sure I know what's right and wrong. Should be easy enough. Right? Uh, no. No. It's more complicated than you think. Explain. You see, uh, you uh, might actually find that someone is being harassed and you want to try to help them. Only for it to be similar. What would you do? No. Easy. I would make sure to put the fear of God into their hearts. Excuse me? Oh, yes. You see, fear really does work. We want to keep people away from you. Seriously. If I had displayed that I was, and I do mean was, this is hypothetical, able to kill you, 
Tell me. How willing would you be to try to get payback from me? Hey. Hmm? How likely would you be to try to screw with me? Uh, exactly. You wouldn't. That would be pretty much a death sentence. You're not wrong. Of course I'm not. But, yeah, that's pretty much how that is. It'll be pretty much stupid. And I do mean that. A stupid decision to come out to someone who just showed you the extent, at least in my case, a portion of how strong they are. Like, hell, if I want to, I could have actually merged my holy and fire attributes to create holy fire and use that against you. Why didn't you? I wanted to gauge your power. See what you were going to use against me. I mean, eh, yeah, you showed me some abilities and it wasn't that by all means it was, it was impressive just not enough to really mm. oh yeah not really uh something that got me worried but since you did tell me that you were still holding back I was uh, Hmm. So, wait, one of the reasons why you actually aligned yourself with me instead of trying to kill me. Oh, that's because it was explained to me why I was put in that pit. It really is that my mom isn't doing it. It's against her will. She actually does care about you. Not to mention that you're stronger than me. Yeah, I got all these resistances. As you I could, won't you? It's, it's a, you know, even the final blow I would be a point flip. Oh. Yep. So, if my uh, instant death skill was the strongest I could use against you. Oh, John, that, uh, that little, uh, you know, the weak look, death magic you used? Yes. Yeah, if that, if that was your strongest, at least the one where you could actually use to actually, you know, kill me. Uh, things will not be looking too good for you. Because, yeah, remember, I have holy attributes as well as fire. The holy attributes can protect me from anything that's, you know, demonic or, you know, evil. You know. Plus, when it comes to fire, I just gotta make sure it overpowers what you throw at me. And fire, no, yes, it does have a bad rep for destruction, from what I can tell. It's got some pretty useful applications. Seriously, I could have just melted through. What's his name? No, it's no. And or where at least boiled him alive in his some skeleton. Oh. Well, that's quite interesting. 
Thank you. Hmm. One thing for certain, though. I don't want to shine with them. What it take for me to actually gain more and compass? Because right now, the one thing moral I ends up doing is really protecting my mom. I don't say she's in good hands here. Hmm. I guess I could just use my heat sense to find a uh, nearby the, uh, human settlement. What? Oh yeah, I can use heat as some kind of, you know, sensor. Really? Like I said, fire has a lot of applications. Eh, it'll take a minute. I only really used it to know where monsters were, but... Let's see how this goes. Mm. Mm, yeah, there's something. It's not that big a wait a minute. What is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like hmm. someone's in trouble. I'm sorry. Yeah, it looks like someone's being attacked. Hmm. Well, so much for helping somebody. What? Oh no! Go, go, help them. Why? Yeah, they're probably as good as dead anyway. Wait, wait, wait. Fine, I'll help them. At least give me something to wear other than an ammo belt. Izuku getting a full set of armor. When he does arrive, he does see two fellow girls actually. <laughs> you know who it is. The whole night. They're trying to kill them. Or the younger sister he sees that her older sister is heavily injured, yada yada yada. And of course. Izuku showing up, not really giving two fucks. Decides to go ahead and kill the knights. Even though yes, Izuku is wearing armor, his hair is still long and unkept. Bloody as well as, yeah, he smells like, yeah, hey then, fucking days. As you can imagine, there is fear on the younger sister's face. It only takes Izuku healing her sister and her to finally get her to be more, okay, maybe you're not a bad guy. As you can imagine, Izuku is annoyed. But also, okay, fine, I did my good deed. So, what's next? Of course, it's all there is to being a good person. But then he starts hearing that more knights are showing up. Oh, he does feel annoyed. Well, this will be my first... I'm fighting against people, so why not? But learning that they're from church, holy knights, Izuku is more than saying, <laughs> Oh, hey, this is gonna be more fun than I thought. Ugh. Well, whether there's heaven or hell, I'm going to make sure that they feel the wrath of God. And that's how that part ends.